Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So, so far we have seen the linear data structures the, uh, like uh, arrays, the linked list and all these things. So, where the uh, data is organized in a sequential manner. So, from today we will go with the non-linear data structures. So, that means uh, trees and graphs. So, here a tree is nothing but uh, organizing the data in hierarchical fashion. That means non-linear. It's not in a linear, non-linear fashion. That is in a hierarchical fashion. Right. We will we'll start with the trees. So a tree is nothing but the data which is organized in hierarchical fashion without any closed region. See, for example, let us take a simple example. So this is called a tree. This is called a tree because it, it is having the elements but not the closed surface. So if you have an edge between B and C, if you have an edge between B and C, then this is having a closed surface. So this is not a tree. Right? So that's why organizing the elements without any closed region or without any closed loop that we will call it as a tree. So here all the elements are represented as nodes. So similar to our linked list. Right? So in the linked list also we are representing every element as a node. Uh, you, if you consider an array, we will call them as an elements. If you consider a linked list, we'll, we, we should call them as a nodes. And similarly, if you consider them as a tree, uh, we have to represent as a nodes. So here also there are nodes. Now, we will see the basic terminology of these trees. Right? The basic terminology. So, if you know the basic terminology of the trees, then, then this concept will be very easy for you. For the next sessions, right? The first one node. Node. So node means the element, the element of a tree. So it is an element of a tree. It's called a node. So let us consider a tree. A simple example for a tree. So that with that example we can write everything right so this is a, a simple tree okay this is also a simple tree right so a tree can have a, a, i mean a number of elements a tree can have a number of elements oh, sorry we, we should call them as a number of nodes so every element, so here the element of a tree is called as node. So here the elements are A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So all these are the nodes, all these are the nodes of a tree. Root node, root node, the starting node of a tree, we call it as a root node. The starting element, the starting node of tree is called a root node from where the branches occurs. Right. So here the starting node is A. So in the example, A is a root node. A is a root node. And one more thing we have to remember every tree should have only one root node so tree is having tree will have only one root node only one root node right next edge edge so edge means a link or a connection between a one node to another node see here we can see a different nodes and all these nodes are connected by with the means of edges right so here 
A, B. A, B and A and B are connected with the help of an edge. A and C are connected with the help of an edge. B and D are connected with the help of an edge. So, H is a link or connection between two nodes. Between two nodes. Sorry. Right? It's a link or a connection between two nodes. Now, if our tree is having n nodes our tree is having n nodes then that tree will be having n minus 1 edges right if a tree is having n nodes then it will be having n minus 1 edges right see let, let us consider here the example here the n is equal to number of nodes is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 8. So 8 nodes are there. Now count the edges. Count the edges. So according to our formula, so if, if a tree is having 8 nodes, it should have a 7 edges. Let us count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 7 edges right so if any tree is having with the n nodes then number of edges for the tree will be n minus 1 right so this is called an edge then parent parent node so parent node means the node which is having branches that can be uh, that, that can be called as a parent. So for example, A node A is having two branches. Okay. So A is having two branches. Right. So B and C. B and C are the branches of A. So that's why we can call A as a parent for B and C. And C. Again, B is having three branches, so B is a parent. Say C doesn't have any branch, so C we should not call C as a parent. And similarly, D is not having any branches, so D is not called as a parent. F is not having any branches, so F is not a parent. So G and H are also not a parents, but E is having two branches, so E is called a parent. So, from the top to bottom, from the top to bottom, if any node is having a branches, then that node can be considered as a parent. A node with branches. From top to bottom. Are called parents. So, here we can say A, B, E are parents, are parent nodes. So we can call them as parent nodes because A is having branches, similarly B is having branches, E is also having branches, right? So here a node can have a multiple branches, that means a parent can have multiple chains. See, so these are the few terminologies node, root node, edge, parent. Now we'll go with a few more. Chain. So after the parent, we should call it as chain. The next terminology is chain. So chain means, see, which is having branches from bottom to top okay so a node with edge from bottom to top from bottom to top or or branch of 
branches of parent we can call it as a child branches of node with the branches of parent we can call it as a child so here see b is having a branch from bottom to top okay so this is a top to bottom so this is a top this is a bottom so b is having a branch from bottom to top so that's why we can call b as a child c is having a branch from bottom to top so c is called a child d e f are childs g h are childs so in this example b comma c comma d comma e comma f g and h all are childs so a node can have a number of childs a parent can have a number of childs okay now siblings siblings so a general english terminology is that siblings means the children which shares the same parent or a children of a same parent we call them as a siblings so child nodes of same parent child nodes of a same parent node we call them as a siblings so in this example so b is a child of a c is child of a so b comma c are siblings similarly d e f share the same parent so d comma e comma f are siblings similarly g and h share the same parent g comma h are siblings okay hope you understood this one the children of same parent we call them as siblings next leaf 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 node leaf node means the node which is not having any child is called a leaf node a node without child node without child node the node without child node is called a leaf node so here you can observe that c is not having any child d is not having any child f is not having any child g and h all these are nodes are not having any kind of children right similarly coming to the b b is having children d e f e is having children g and h a is having children b and c right so the node which is without without any child child node that node we call it as a leaf node so in that example in our example c is a leaf node similarly d is a leaf node f is a leaf node g and h are leaf nodes g and h are leaf nodes all these are the leaf nodes right then next next one internal nodes internal nodes so internal nodes means that all the nodes other than leaf nodes are called as internal nodes all nodes other than leaf nodes so that means whatever the node which is having a child then that called as a internal node or we can say node with child node with child right node with child nodes are called as internal nodes so in this in this example we are having a, a number of nodes with the children so a is a child node uh, sorry a is having the children so a will be the internal node similarly b is having the children b will be the internal node and uh, e is having the children so e will be the internal node so here in this example so a b 
एंड ई आर इंटरनल नोट्स ओके ए बी ई आर इंटरनल नोट्स राइट नेक्स्ट डिग्री सो डिग्री ऑफ ए नोट एंड डिग्री ऑफ ए ट्री सो मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ चिल्ड्रन सॉरी नंबर ऑफ चाइल्ड नोट्स represents the degree of a node the number of child nodes represents the degree of a node so for example degree of a degree of a so node a is having two children so degree of a will be 2 similarly degree of b degree of b so b is having three children so the degree will be 3 and similarly the maximum the maximum degree of the maximum degree among all nodes is a degree of a tree the maximum degree among all nodes is a degree of a tree so if you want to find the degree of complete tree that implies what the maximum number of degree among all nodes so we have to find the degree for all the nodes and the maximum degree where we have we get that will be the degree of a tree so here if you observe so degree of b is 3 so it is a maximum so in this example the degree of a tree the degree of a tree will be 3 so simply we can say the node with a maximum number of children we can say it as a degree of a tree right so in the tree whatever the node which is having the maximum number of children that we call it as a degree of a tree right so if you for, uh, count the number of child nodes for a, for each node that will be the degree of a node the degree of a node right so this is called a degree next level level of a tree so each step or each hierarchical in a tree will be count as a level so always the level starts from zero so every step or hierarchy in a tree is a level so level always starts from zero starts from zero and for every step every step or hierarchy every step or hierarchy level will be incremented by 1 see here if you observe here so this is at level 0 this is at level 1 this is at level 2 this is at level 3 okay from top to bottom the level will be 0 so level starts with 0 so all the children of a will be at the same level in 1 all the 
children of B and C will be at the level 2 and all the children of D, E, F will be at level 3. So we call it as a step or hierarchy. So every step or every hierarchy, simply we can call it as a hierarchy, right? So every hierarchy of a tree is counted as a level. So level starts from 0. So keep on going the hierarchy, the level will be also incrementing by 1. So here in this example, the level of a tree, the level of a tree is 3, right? Because it is having three hierarchies from the root node 0. So always the level of a root node is 0, right? The level of root node 0, right? So from the 0, we have to increment the levels for each and every hierarchy. So 0, 1, 2 and 3. So in this example, the level of a tree is 3. Now, so one more uh, thing is height. Height. So here the height means, so we, we have to find the height for a particular node. So for a particular node, the height means the longest path from a leaf node to that particular node is called a height. So longest path from leaf node to that node is height. See for example, if you want to find the height of a B, height of a B, then see from the leaf node, the longest path from the leaf node, so leaf nodes are G and H, from the leaf node, we have to find the path or the number of edges. So here there are two edges, G to E and E to B. G to E and E to B, two edges are there. From the leaf node H, there are two edges are there. So that's why we can say the height of B is two. And similarly, height of A, if you, height, if you consider height of A, there are leaf nodes c is having uh, i mean there is a leaf node c and there is a leaf nodes g and h from the leaf node c there is only one edge and from the leaf node g there are one two three three edges so we have to consider the longest path height of a is three so there is a slight difference between the level and height right so here the height will be specific specified for a particular node so that's why we have to find the longest path from a leaf node to that particular node for which we have to find the height. So that is called a height. Right? So I hope you understood this one. Next. Depth. Depth. So here, here also the same thing, but here the depth is the longest path from root node to that node. So from top to bottom. So here the height will be calculated from bottom to that particular node, right? So uh, here the depth means we have to consider the root node to that node, that particular node for which we are going to find the path. So the longest path from root node to that node. So depth is also for calculating the node. So depth of E, depth of E means finding the longest path from root node to E. That means A, A to B, B to E. So here the depth is 2. The depth is 2. Similarly, 
the depth of G is root node to that node. So 1, 2, 3. So the depth of G is 3. Right? So hope you understood this one. The depth of B from root node to that node. Root node to that node. So only one edge. So depth of B is 1. Okay, so the depth means the longest path from a root node to that particular node. Right. Next. See, path. Path. Path means the sequence of nodes from source to destination. sequence of nodes from root to leaf we can simply say from loop, root to leaf or a source to destination so here see a path means so path of a to g is so a to b b to e e to g so this is called a path this is called path a sequence of nodes from source to destination this is called path next subtree the node with the children will always form say subtree so node with children forms subtree right see here in this example we can say i will once again i will write here See, this is a tree and this forms another tree and this forms another tree. So, this is one tree and this is a sub, another subtree and this is another subtree. Right? So, hope you understood this one. So, every node with a child nodes form a subtree and this is also one subtree. So, simply we can say this is also a subtree. Okay? So, so these are the basic terminologies we have to know before going to the trees concept. So these are the all the basic terminologies. So I will write once all these terminologies. So hope you understood all these things. So the root node, node edge root node node edge parent parent node child node siblings leaf node internal nodes internal nodes degree level height depth path So all these are the basic terminologies of a tree. So we have seen all these things. So hope you understood these basic terminologies. So if you are having any doubts regarding these basic terminologies, so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. So that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. So let us stop here. 
and uh, in the next session we'll go with uh, uh, one more concept on trees so if you really understood my sessions uh, like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much